Here we have the component for making a lever lock tensioning tool. What you see here cost about maybe two American dollars for these parts. We've got uh, these are all one quarter inch uh, nuts, bolts, washers, and a little acorn nut. And then a key that you have to find or buy or use uh, the duplicate key that comes with both the lever locks. And what you're going to end up with is something similar to this. It's all put together. Now the first thing we're going to do we're going to mark up this key so we know where to cut it to make the tension tool in <laughs> end of it. Just this end right here. This is for Jeff Cruiser. But we had to cut the rest of the, the key off and we had to file down the barrel of the key. And that is what uh, we'll be doing. But first, let's get this all marked up so we know where to cut. We'll now start uh, marking up the keys to where to make our cuts. But one thing I want to uh, bring to your attention is whatever bolt you get, make sure it will fit through the hole in the key in the bow here. If you get something too big, it's you know not going to fit, and you have to get a smaller size bolt to make it fit. This fits very nicely through there, and if it doesn't fit, you may be able to drill a larger hole, or like this key, it had one big hole in it, but uh, it wouldn't large enough to fit into the bolt that I had for this. So I had to uh, get a hacksaw and cut out a little bit. But what we're going to do now is make this key look like this key. We'll be cutting half the bow off. cutting a lot of this away so it only has a post an upright that will catch the uh, the bolt and not catch the bolt in the first uh, lever that's in front of the bolt it's got to be thin enough this way that it doesn't catch any levers when it engages the bolt Let's mark up the key. Now you want to start with key upside down because you'll be cutting the bow, the top bow here, off. And the upright will be cut off here. And the shank here will be also filed down as far as you can go before you expose the tube, open tube down there. Get a magic marker here and I'm going to blacken the areas that need to be cut. See if we can zoom in a little bit there. And this has some flares right here. They're gonna have to be filed off. Next, the upright. Well, we're going to get what I'm working in black off the key. And we're just going to leave about 
that much. There we go. Sorry. So this is what we're going to cut off. And you can use a uh, hacksaw blade for this. Or if you have a Dremel, you can use a Dremel. And then this will need to be filed down. <clears throat> you can use a hand file. Or if you have a uh, bench grinder, you can use a bench grinder. Well, that will go faster if you have power tools, but it can be done easily with hand tools. So the next thing to do is to cut the key down. The hand tools we're going to need for cutting tool down are a hacksaw, some metal files, a coarse and a fine, and some sandpaper. And we'll also need a vise. Go ahead and put the key in here, and the first cut we're going to make is right here, cutting the bow, and then cutting it here afterwards. Put that in the vise. guide it. It's kind of hard to see with that one. That's back up again. I'm going to make just a groove in it. starting so my blade will uh, file that groove down to the bottom here. Now instead of boring you for several minutes of me cutting and this racking noise, I'm going to edit this and come back after I've cut it. cut be right here enough to remove this part of the bow so we'll go ahead and do that and again I will go ahead and edit this out so you don't have to listen to me uh, saw this here's the final cut off the bow. <clears throat> Here is the nut that will be attached to. It fits in there. And then what we want to do is to file these little sharp points off <coughs> And any other sharp points that have been cut, like on the top of the bow. Take the file, file these. And I'll do that, you know, in the edit. But that's what we've got right now. Next step is to cut the upright here. Again, we'll use the hacksaw to cut this way and to cut that way. That's 
basically it's the same thing. Just getting it started. down to the bolt right there, not getting into the, uh, the pipe, but just down to the pipe, then cutting across to meet where we cut so this part will come off. But I'll go ahead and cut again, edit this out, and we'll go back, come back with the uh, upright cut. And here we have the First cut, and now I'll be cutting this, and we have the last cut. I normally would cut that off, but I just wanted to show you how it's cut. I use these pliers, break it off. And then we'll get a file, we'll file that down while we're filing the tube. And we'll be filing the tube, taking maybe a millimeter off of here. Do that by putting it in a vise. file the tape. Here, <coughs> we filed it down some. See how flat it's getting. And we're going to file it down some more. Because we have to get the uh, Wire. But going on along here, going into the, the lock body. This goes into the groove where the bolt is. And here's your pick wire that will start picking the different levers. And we need to have this area as low as possible be able to get the pick wire in through the keyhole of the lock. So we'll continue filing. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. This is taking about 20 minutes. See, I filed it quite a bit. You can see where the, going down to where the opening of the tube is. And back here, I can go in as far. I don't think I have to, to get the uh, pick wire to clear. We'll try and do that now. here. It's an old belfry. Goes in. Gauges the, the bolt. And we'll see if the pick wire goes in there. And it does. 
it. So we've got it right. So now my next step is to assemble the tending tool. Time to put it all together and have a finished product. I put two bolts on here already just to save some time. And the next thing we need is a washer. And then the key fits right in there. Second washer. Then two more bolts. Tighten it up with our fingers. Finish it off with a little acorn nut or with a stop nut or anything you want to put on it or nothing at all. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be anything on it, but I just kind of like to make it like that. So here we have the finished product. And we'll try it out. In the belfry. It's locked. Let's see if we can pick it. And the washers act as guides for the wire. Try and keep the wire straight. Three lever. There we go. So there you have it. Part one's and part two. Part one making the pick wire, part two making the turning tool. And that is how you do it. But there are many different uh, ways of making these. I would definitely go check Brummy. He's the one that uh, created this and lots of other ones that I have. And uh, he's made them out of bent nails and fireplace pieces, uh, anything. This is the simplest way to make one that anyone can make just by buying these nuts and bolts and washes from the hardware store and fashioning it, fashioning it with uh, files and uh, hacksaw blade and, and pliers. And that will put you in business for uh, your adventure in lever lock picking. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this and hope I. Uh, able to teach you something. Thanks for watching.